Water polo. Objective. Mariah will have a basic knowledge of water polo and will be able to throw a water polo ball with proper form and catch the ball in return. She will also know how to throw the ball in two different forms, as a wet pass and dry. A wet pass is when you throw the ball to your teammate just directly in front of them in the water. A dry pass is when you throw the ball directly to your teammate's hand. I will explain that when throwing a water polo ball, it takes your entire body to be able to throw the ball. This is a form of kinesthetic energy. When you are throwing the ball, you want your chest out of the water and you want your arms to be out of the water as well because if you throw the ball, you don't want the water to be dragging you back and slowing you down. When you throw the ball, you want your arm at a 45 degree angle. It's just like throwing a baseball. Um, when you release the ball from your hand, it's just past your head and the last finger that it touches is your middle finger. That should be the very last thing that comes off. When catching the ball, you want to absorb the energy that is coming from the ball to be able to stop it. So what that means is that you need to have your hand up and ready and you need to catch it with your fingertips, not your palm of your hand. And as the ball comes and touches your hand, you're going to pull your hand back with the ball so that the ball doesn't stop right away and it doesn't hurt your hand. What that does instead is that takes that energy from the ball to your hand and down into your body as you pull it back. After that, I will then go on to explain the different positions depending on if we have time or she, if she catches up to on how to actually catch and throw a ball. Um, I have a picture listed showing the, what the different positions there are. Um, and also how to relate water polo to her. I am going to explain how it is related to similar sports that she may already know, basketball and soccer. I will also go over terminology within water polo, for instance, like what a cap is, or um, what a stop clock is, or even what a cage is.